Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a reading on Rosé from the K-pop girl group Blackpink. And this will be a current energy checkup reading to see how she's currently doing right now. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. So the first few cards that fell out was the Three of Wands. We got the Magician. And then we got the Nine of Swords. So, with these cards coming out, Rosé definitely is trying to stand in her power and stand in her strength and her willpower to kind of make sure that she's planning correctly for the future type of thing. Like, she's trying to not let people, you know, walk all over her in a way as she continues to grow, as she continues to be more successful type of thing. She's definitely having a lot of eyes on her future and trying to really stand her ground but at the same time with the nine of swords there's a lot of stress that she's currently under that she's dealing with that's keeping her up at night that's keeping her just very burnt out and going through a lot okay i want a clarification on the nine of swords okay so the Three cards that came out was the Eight of Pentacles, the Tower, and then the Six of Swords. So, with these cards coming out for Rosé's reading, it seems to me that, um, as a clarification card, sorry. It seems to me that Rosé is really having a lot of chaotic stuff go on behind the scenes when it comes to work because we got the eight of pentacles it's like hard work trying to you know perfect her skills type of thing trying to grow and she finds it hard like it's a lot of stress because she's trying to be almost like a master at what she does but it's not kind of working out for her because it's causing a lot of you know stress and a lot of chaos to go on around her and with the six of swords she's ready to move into calmer waters into like relaxing like she's ready to transition into a phase where it's not a lot going on for her Okay, so the next few cards that fell out was the Seven of Cups, Decisions, the Empress, the Page of Swords, the Chariot, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so... With these cards right now, Rosé definitely is making a lot of decisions, choices that she's trying to figure out. And I'm seeing some of these are opportunities. Like, some of these are opportunities for her career type of thing. But at the same time, there is some that she's kind of like, eh, she's not down for right now. But it doesn't mean she's not going to do it in the future. Like, there is a new opportunity being offered to her, a few of them type of thing. But she is trying to focus on other things right now like she just had a whole solo come out it's like she's trying to take things one step at a time right now with the five of pentacles it's like there's some isolation going on type of thing and then it's like i'm getting nurturing and motherly vibes like with the empress card so it could be rosie herself or it could actually be like a mother figure a female figure that gives off of that yeah but with these, it's like, Rosé, with the pages, look, I'm seeing that Rosé has a lot of new visions, new ideas that she wants to put into action. It's just a lot going on right now that she doesn't really want to, you know, put extra stress on herself right now. So she's trying to take it slow at a time, like she's on her journey right now, and this is going to be like a... Uh, a process that she doesn't want to rush like I just said before with the six of sword she really wants to go into calmer water she wants it to be more calm like she's tired type of thing okay and we got the world card we got the queen of cups and then we got the king of pentacles yeah like like I said, she's trying to create stability in her career. She's trying to, you know, make sure that her job is at a satisfying pace that she wants it to be. 
type of thing, I get another female figure, but it can also be Rose herself. This person has a lot of compassion, a lot of kindness type of thing. And then with the world card, I'm seeing that she really is trying to really get out there more in the world. Like, she wants more success. I know that it sounds crazy because she already has a lot of success, but she wants to keep growing type of thing. Okay, the next few cards is the Strength card. The Hierophant in Reverse. The Three of Swords. The Queen of Wands in reverse. And the Five of Wands. Yeah, there's some disagreement and fighting going on for sure around Rose. Like I said, the tower, I'm going to connect it with the tower coming back up. It's like, it's a lot of chaos going on when it comes to Rose's surroundings type of thing. And with the Queen of Wands in reverse, I'm kind of seeing that Rose is like, she's tired. Like, she's lacking energy. She's really in this phase right now where she really needs to rebuild herself up because we got the three of swords a disappointment definitely happened around her where she isn't really satisfied it's something that caused her pain it's something that she really had a heartbreak from type of thing and then we got the strip but she's strong so she is going to get through all of this this is just like a phase that like i said with the cherry it's like a journey that she's going to be put on to develop her character but also grow her car careers like how bad do you want to be more successful type of thing like i said so it is a battle with the five of wands it is a battle and there's a lot of heartbreak going on but this is going to really build her up um when it comes but the queen of wands in reverse also represents like also somebody that's temperamental somebody that could even be like selfish and a bully so yeah and then we got the hero for in reverse Rose may want to do stuff that's not exactly like the norm or she wants to do stuff that she can that may not go in her culture or something that just you know just unthinkable that other people haven't done like she wants to be that person that creates something and like it's, that she can be known for if that makes sense yeah So we got the Queen of Cups again. We got the Hangman. And then we got the Six of Wands. I want to pull a few more. Okay. We got the Three of Swords again. But I want a clarification uh, for the Three of Swords. Okay. So the next few cards almost fell. Okay, the next few cards is the Princess of Pentacles. We got the Nine of Wands. We got the Four of Cups. And the last card is we got the Four of Wands. So with these cards coming up for Rosé, it seems like there's a standstill or an uncertainty. Uncertainty. Oh my god, I can't speak today. Going on with Rose right now. And but it's something that she like like I said, it's something that it's like almost like bound to happen to get her to success type of thing. So it's that type of thing where it's this heartbreak is gonna get her into the four of wands mode to make her happy type of thing. It's like, in the 9 one she's gonna have to, you know, protect herself and never give up. But it's like, the 9 one also represents close to success. So, she's gonna reach the mark that she wants to. It's just going to be a journey. And, like, a part of her is like, oh, this is a lot going on. But if she wants, with the 6 and one if she wants more recognition, then this is something that she's gonna have to be put through and go through if that makes sense but with the four of cups it's like she is taking time to herself to meditate type of thing and there are opportunities being given to her and i am seeing that she is still spending some alone time and trying to get things figured out around herself before you know dealing with other people type of thing 
and the Prince of the Pentacle, like I said, a new financial opportunity, like being able to have new ideas and new job offers, just anything offered to her. So she's not going to have a problem with that. It's just she's going to not have La La Land when it comes to getting more success. It's going to be a journey for sure and everything isn't going to be easy, but in the end, she's going to end up like the Four of Wands where she can be happy with her success. Okay. We got the seven of wands. Exactly what I was saying. Standing her ground. And then we got the two of cups. Like I said, standing her ground. Being able to really fight for what she wants. And be very assertive and defensive when she needs to get that done type of thing. And I feel like she will do it. Because remember the strength card came up in the Magician. She has a lot of power too. It's just she's going to have to really just tune in with herself. And figure out everything. And know exactly where she wants to go and do. Before she take off type of thing. More. Take off more. We got the Two of Cups. This could represent a relationship. Like she could definitely have something. It seems like she does have somebody in her life but let me get like a clarification on like the two of cups to kind of see like what is this about mm, okay we got the hangman we got the page of pentacles and then we got the ace of swords so i do see she do have somebody in her life that she's connected to definitely and possibly even dating like the two of cups literally is dating so i do think she is with somebody right now but with the clarification card i'm seeing that there's a lot of uncertainty around this relationship there's a lot going on there's a lot that she's missing out due to being caught up in this one person type of thing and it's holding her back type of thing like she's definitely thinking should i continue this relationship or this relationship I'm seeing a pause on this relationship with the hangman. It's like there's a pause, like, you know, like, they may be taking a break or just taking it slow or just put their relationship on a halt, like a halt type of thing. Because I'm seeing that with the Page of Pentacles, it's like the person that she's connected to, like, this relationship isn't really all that. Like, it's lacking progress. It's certain things that... She doesn't exactly crave for a relationship. Rose craves more. But in the, with the Ace of Swords, like I said, she's seeing it. And she's developing a new vision and realizing, like, I don't think this person may be for me type of thing. Like, there's a lot of difficulty, like, procrastination. A lot of things not happening. And I don't feel like this person is bringing anything into her life that she doesn't have. Or, yeah, you know, like, I feel like this person is actually not really giving in like this relationship is missing a lot of factors to it type of thing so yeah that's what i get let's see if there's any more cards but it does seem she definitely is connected to somebody in a relationship but it's not like the ideal relationship that anybody will want type of thing it's like it's a relationship like she's thinking like is it even is it even bringing me any you know anything positive to my life or is it causing me stress because I'm already under stress with my work and career do I really want to be in this relationship so I definitely see a pause in the relationship where they're kind of like look let me just have some time to alone remember like I said she's taking time alone isolated she's like let me have some time alone and figure out things type of thing because this relationship ain't it okay so let's just see any more cards okay and the last few cards I think I'm gonna pull for her is the high priest the Three of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. So with Rosé, she's going to really be fine. I'm just going to be honest. She's going to still have a very successful career where she develops new tactics. She gets new opportunities and she gets a new vision where she's able to really 
figure out exactly what she wants to do and she's sitting on herself and figuring this all out and she's trying to listen to her intuition and see where it takes her like i said with the three on one she's gonna have a good future i even see her possibly going abroad or going overseas for some project having an opportunity to work somewhere that isn't exactly maybe based in korea type of thing like traveling and having more travel jobs to work abroad type of thing so with the ace of pentacles and the ace of swords like i said she is going to be in good hands with her career type of thing it's just going to be a journey to really get there still like i said it's still a long way to go if she wants more with her career but she definitely got this because she has a lot of strength and willpower so yeah that's all i get for rose's reading make sure to like comment subscribe and you can always request in the comment section down below and tune into my next video bye